as an indicator, and we think it is very uh, important to emphasize on it. Very briefly, we have a decree here. The government can do proactively things proactively to f favor small businesses in the United States. The small businesses who have uh, stockholders or, or managers that are ethnic minorities, they have privileges with respect to public contracting. Here we have one measure in this sense is a decree of public purchasing that gives small companies certain additional um, score when it's competing with the bigger companies. So through public purchasing, they can uh, sophisticate themselves in their processes and so on. We are also starting to analyze. We have the Afro-Colombian population and indigenous population that are marginated. So we want to explore ways in which the government can give them a push through public purchasing and in other levels such as education and so on to be able to have a lackness in uh, the rise as the other Colombians. So I, my time is over. I conclude there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Piedraita. Now we are going to give the microphone to David Guerrero Perez, President of Banco Agrario de Colombia. Welcome. Thank you very much, Minister. Good morning to all of the attendees of this summit. I will. When the importance of Banco Agrario de Colombia as the only. Gobierno Nacional y específicamente en la colocación de microcrédito en el rural microcrédito y urban microcrédito Banco Agrario comes with the largest network of channels to the service of the country today we have 735 branch offices out of which we have to highlight that 590 branches are the sole presence of Banco Agrario de Colombia we have 1519 ATMs 277 of our own 835 with Banca, another network and 423 with covenants with other financial entities in this case Ariana. With respect to non-banking correspondents, Banco Agrario has 228 non-banking correspondents in out of which 185 are located in settlements where we are the only financial entity in the channels and correspondence as you see Banco Agrario has wide coverage in Colombian territory and its policy is focused on bancarization for example with respect to non-banking correspondence the purpose is not to decrease the uh, uh, reach of people but precisely to get to the population who has no reach to financial services in this graph we can see how Banco Agrario is targeted to the population of less uh, income so that its presence is essentially in populations of less than 50,000 people. We see how 86% of the off branch offices of Banco Agrario is in populations of less than 50,000 uh, inhabitants and only 14%, the remaining 40% is with offices greater than that number. This is very important and it gets more importance when we compare the presence of Banco Agrario in the national territory with the presence of the rest of the financial sector. As you can see, the small pie, 91% of the presence and coverage of the commercial banking is in cities with population in excess of 50,000 inhabitants and only 9% in population with inhabit lower inhabitants. This is all the bankerization, banking uh, process and the development of the national government to take to all national people financial services. The channels through which the bank is reaching because it is nowadays in a modernization, streamlining of services to improve access of financial services to the population, especially to those with lower income. The channels we are using is online branch offices. I refer to them because the bank, out of the 735 branch offices of the bank, up to 2007, they had 411 that were not online. They needed to do an additional process, and transfers were not in real time, and they required uh, 
night processes. This bank will have all their offices online. More than 100 offices have been online during this year. We are working through non-banking correspondence, ATMs, telephone, contacts, virtual banking, and mobile banking. We try to reach the rural population, the Colombian population, and we deal with all services that a commercial bank can offer. And these services have been accepted very well, as we will see later on. Our main objective, our mission is the small producer. For that reason, we will see later on that the placement of agricultural credit, of micro credit, is practically the entire credit on those small producers that are in the financial sector of Colombia. And the urban microcredit, we work in four lines, three lines, strengthening uh, women, head of family, and solidarity yourselves. The bank started to work the microcredit issue in 2005, and nowadays, out of the 735 branch offices, we have 391 offices with microcredit technology, with a set of specialized advisors for attending the um, serving the Colombian population. We're talking about urban microcredit because the urban microcredit is throughout the entire Colombian territory. With respect to the correspondence, the bank, as I was saying, has 228 non-banking correspondence through which since January 2007 to April 2009 we have performed 2 million transactions and they offer all alternatives and all financial services that a banking office can offer. Withdrawal, deposit transfers, consultation of balances, credits, and dispersions of bank credits. For Banco Agrario, the correspondent is the way of reaching a population, but as this population shows the feasibility of an office, the second step is to make that correspondent a branch office of Banco Agrario. With respect to ATMs, now we have 277 ATMs through which 7.7 .7 million transactions have been performed between January 2007 to April 2009. This might not mean in general something, but what I want to tell you is that in these small populations and in these small settlements or towns and these customers who are small entrepreneurs, it, they have shown great capacity to use the ATMs placing the ATMs of this bank to the level of the best ATMs with respect to number of transactions in the commercial bank. And these have all possible transactions in an ATM, balance, consultation, movements, payments of uh, public utilities and credit cards. And nowadays an essential issue is that these ATMs have become an essential channel for payment of social programs from the national government, especially with respect to Familias in Acción, through which Banco Agrario, where the President of the Republic and Social Action will get into the banking system. More than 3 million families who will have an account in Banco Agrario, and they receive the subsidies through depositing that account, which they can withdraw from any ATM or any commercial establishment. Okay. As I was mentioning to you before, nowadays within the total agricultural credit, Banco Agrario in small producers place 90% and only 10% is placed by the rest of the financial system. That is demonstrates very clearly that Banco Agrario as a public bank is essential so that resources are available for these small producers, for these low-income people, because otherwise they will not have access to agricultural credit or any financial service. The small producer in Colombia is qualified as that person having asset of maximum 25,000 US dollars, including those of their uh, spouse. And two-thirds of its income come from agricultural activity. So this is a small sector that would not have any services, banking services, without Banco Agrario. And nowadays, they have the access to this through Banco Agrario. With respect to microcredit portfolio in general, Banco Agrario's share by virtue of all this national government policy of pushing microcredit, it has 
gone through 60% in 2000, December 2006 to 49% in 